I don't know what's happened to my back. It's broken. Ow. Hey guys, it's Isla on Slide to the Left. Welcome to my desk. Again, we've got a scene change. Don't know why I felt like it. You've got to deal with that. So recently I've been having a bit of a creative block, as it were. Yeah, that happens. It's actually quite stressful. So as you know, I'm an amazing, inspiring person you should really look up to. So I've decided that I'm going to be starting a thing on this channel where I give you advice. Because I know a lot. I hopefully it will be like every three or four months I'll make an advice video about whatever I feel like giving advice on. Today I'm just going to start off with some stuff that I do know about. And that is GCSEs. GCSEs. A time of stress. The first proper exams you will probably have taken. And you know if you don't live in the UK, they're just some random things that go on in another country. For those of you who don't know, they are basically a set of exams around 10 or 11 that you take when you are 15 or 16 years old. It's probably not going to affect you that much, but at the time it, it really does seem like that. So today I'm going to be taking some of your questions and some random things that I thought you would need to know when taking your exams. Firstly, you need to know when you should start revising. I know no one wants to, but you have to. Don't listen to any of those people out there who say they didn't revise and then just get an A, okay? Most likely, that's not gonna be you. No offense. You need to work. If you don't work the hardest, you won't feel like you've achieved anything. And achieving something is one of the best feelings ever. So once you've got that attitude into your head, you're ready to start the revision. Depending on your subject, you should probably start the majority of your revision in the Easter holidays, spending roughly around five to six hours a day revising. Obviously you're allowed some days off, otherwise you will probably die. You can do this by meeting up with your friends, just lying in bed all day if that's how you do that. I often make videos if that's your thing. But when you are working, it needs to be concentrated work. Not I'm sitting here staring at a blank piece of paper and not actually doing anything. Oh look, the time's gone by. I've done so much of isn't today even though you haven't done anything. Don't leave everything to the last minute. If you sit down to do revision and you're tired or you're not focusing, just stop. There is no point if you're doing anything, so you might as well go to bed. To be honest, sleeping is probably more beneficial to you because then the next day you will have be so awake that you can work for three days straight. Probably not, not, not that much, but you get my point. Depending on the subject, revision can include past papers which are amazing for things like maths and science. Subjects that are more about technique like English and drama writing, you maybe want to just go and see your teacher because it will be way more beneficial than just writing bad essays over and over again. Don't worry about what everyone else thinks because you're going to be the one that gets the A. During these holidays, eat brain food. I mean eat foods that are really going to help you. And no, I'm not a crazy, nutritious person that's all about health, but it does help just eating a smoked salmon and cream cheese sandwich once a week. And they taste so good too. Revision cannot be left till the last minute. You should know that by now. Things that need memorising in the exam should probably start earlier. Hopefully during your lessons your teachers will actually start revision before the Easter holidays because you should probably be starting during the Easter term in the second half and that will really help because you'll it will just be right back in your long-term memory. If you find something hard, don't skip it out and just wait for later, okay? Don't delay it because it, it won't help. If anything, leave the easy stuff to last because it's easy. Logical. Stop procrastinating. That's right, get off YouTube because as much as you think it's gonna help you to watch 
these videos that teach you how to do GCSEs, you're not going to actually get the GCSE. So, stop giving me views. Make sure you're still actually treating yourself every now and again, otherwise your brain will explode and that's not good for anyone. Your friends will be going through exactly the same thing, so they'll all want a break. Just meet up and have a bit of fun, or you know, if you don't want any friends then just do what I do and make YouTube videos. Personally I don't feel like I can give you a best way to study, because everyone is different. But there are so many different methods, and there is bound to be one that works for you. I personally just like writing lots of notes and learning it all. If you think that's what you would do, then I would really recommend getting these poker pads. No, I'm not a sponsored YouTuber. These are genuinely the most helpful things in the world. You can just write everything. They got file dividers for different subjects. As you can see, I did a lot of music revision. You can write essays, you can write bullet points, draw all over it if you want to. They are the most helpful things ever. And I got three for the price of two, so I've got one for A-level now too. Other methods can include recording your notes and listening to them. I personally don't find this very helpful, but it may work for you. Getting people to test you is a great way as well for things like science or very knowledge heavy subjects. The most important thing about revision is you need to be confident about it by the end. And if you don't, then that's when you need to worry. When it comes to the actual exam day, make sure you don't freak out so much. If you've done the work, you shouldn't be freaking out, okay? If you get too stressed, then you're more likely to do badly in the exam because you're too flustered and you can't concentrate. So that's never a good thing. Make sure you're not thinking of anything else during the exam because getting distracted is not a good thing. Everyone is supposed to be let out at the same time, but in my physics exam, the invigilator just kind of let people out when they finished, which was the most distracting thing ever. Hopefully that won't happen to you, um, but just make sure you're focused because you, you, don't, you don't want to just stare out the window. It's not gonna help you. Even if you don't think you know what to write, just Rip your brain and just try and find something. When it comes to results day, you will be filled with so many emotions, you just won't be able to control it. It's probably the most stressful slash exciting moment in your life so far. That's probably, there's probably more stressful, okay, scratch that idea. If you don't do too well in your results and you tried your hardest, that is fine. There are so many different options of what you could do and it really doesn't matter. However, if you do do well, that is great and I'm so happy for you, future self. All people have already done it, well done. I was personally so happy with my results and I really felt proud of myself because it was the first thing that like I actually did right. Here you go, here's my results sheet. Who knew this piece of paper could cause so many feelings? Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you got some advice. I don't think I've ever been this helpful before. If you are taking your GCSEs this year or in year 10 and you're doing them at the moment, I wish you good luck in your GCSEs this summer. Revise well, do the best you can, and you will be amazing. If you're not doing GCSEs because you're from another country, then I wish you luck in any exams that you have coming up. And if you don't ever do exams, then I am jealous of you. I'd also like to give luck to my fellow A-level students because I want luck too. Let's share the love. My emoji of the week is this because this. And my song of the week is Yellow by Coldplay because I'm going to Glastonbury this year again and I'm so excited for them to be there. Thank you very much for watching, please subscribe, like and comment below any suggestions of videos you want me to do or any advice videos you think I should do that I know a lot about, which is everything. See you soon guys, bye!